So you just opened your Cricut Easy Press Mini and you're wondering, okay, now what? My name's Lindsay. I share a bunch of different craft and cricketing tips and tricks on my channel. Subscribe if you are interested. We are gonna specifically talk about this Mini Easy Press. So luckily, this is one of the easiest machines that Cricut has made to just plug and play. All you do is plug it in and then turn it on. It'll start warming up. Uh, as you can see, this light is orange. That means that it's still in the process of warming up. Um, and then you can actually click through these settings here. When you first turn it on, it'll be on a low setting. Um, but if you click that power button again, it will turn it to a medium setting. And if you click it one more time, it'll turn it to the high setting. And then to turn it off, you click it a fourth time and it's off. One of the trickiest parts of this machine compared to the other easy presses is that it doesn't give you a temperature to go off of. You literally just have low, medium, and high settings. Cricut has a website, um, their heat guide website. If you're not familiar with it, I would really recommend going and checking it out. I will post the link uh, down below. It will give you what setting you, you need to have any of your machines on to successfully use um, a certain piece of material. For I, before you use that website, it is in reference specifically to Cricut uh, iron-on vinyl, Cricut infusible ink, strictly Cricut products. So if you are going to use an iron-on vinyl from a different company, um, it may not transfer over the same. So you might have to play around a little bit before you get your heat settings right. Back to this machine. When it is heated up to the setting that you would like, um, it will turn green and it'll beep at you. Um, so that way you know it is ready to go. Like the other Easy Presses, it features an automatic turn-off mechanism, um, kind of as a safety, so that if you forget to unplug it, it will turn off on its own after 13 minutes of not being used. Now you are ready to use your Cricut Easy Press Mini. I hope this was helpful. Um, let me know in the comments what other guides and tutorials you'd like on these machines, um, and I'd be happy to help.